Welcome back to Great Day Washington. If you're looking for a day trip without traveling too far, Virginia Vineyards are a great starting place. Ellen recently talked to the woman behind the blog, VA Wine Chic, for her top suggestions. When we're thinking of Virginia and what am I going to do this weekend? Wineries is one of the first things that pops into your mind. What is it about Virginia and the wineries that's so great? Well, thank you for having me on, Ellen. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, Virginia wine, Virginia has over 300 wineries, so there's so much to choose from. And they're so close by to Washington, D.C. It's just some of them are half an hour or an hour away. Some, of course, are across the, the state. But it's an easy day trip, and it's just so much fun to go with your friends and family. Some are family uh, friendly, some are just adult only, and many of them are pet friendly. So that's a very nice way to just spend the day or the weekend. Yeah, and it gets you out of the city so you don't have that like city feel, pressure of work, that sort of thing. Um, I know you've selected some great wineries for us today. What would be the first one you would suggest people are wondering, where should we go? Well, I really enjoy Walsh Family Wine. They're, a, they're located in Percival. They're pet and family friendly, and they're about an hour away from DC. The owners are young and they're, they're so much fun. So one of the reasons I really like uh, Walsh Family Wine is just on Friday nights, they close at 8 p.m. And they offer two great things. One, they offer the flight nights, which is a weekly rotating flight of special wines. And that's in addition to the standard Walsh wine flights they have during the week. They also, have, um, they're working with local chefs um, for weekend pop-up pop pop -up restaurants oh, nice. and just to support local and local restaurants and local farmers. All right. So the second place that you would send people, what would that suggestion be? Well, Green Hill Winery and Vineyards, they are located in Middleburg. It's about an hour away from Washington, D.C. They're an adult only a winery, but also pet friendly. Love that. Um, yes, their bubbly is absolutely amazing. They have wonderful views and their space is really large. So it's great for social distancing. They also have fire pits that you can make a reservation. It's about $25 flat fee. And after Thanksgiving on Fridays and Saturdays, they're going to offer carriage rights. So it's just absolutely lovely. Oh, the same. I highly recommend that. Yeah, it's so romantic. And as you mentioned, being outside right now is something a lot of people are looking for. So I love that. Um, what is your final destination for us today? Well, this one is a little bit far. This one is Early Mountain and it's in Madison County, Virginia. So it's about two hour drive from Washington, D.C. But they have an in-house chef and restaurant and it's phenomenal. And they also have a very large property. They also have this awesome new uh, luxury tent that um, you do have to make reservations though for that. Um, it's about, um, it is $120 uh, per tent. They only have five, but it's luxury. So it's up to eight people in each tent and it's one covered and it includes a fire pit, fire pit. And it also has, uh, oh yeah, it's really fun. This is amazing. I know, <laughs> and it's my jaw also, is dropping more the more you're describing it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Because it's also, you know, it's full service restaurant. So you have your own little restaurant outside in a vineyard with a fire pit in your own tent. So it's, uh, it's fantastic. And they just started that for the holidays. Some great ideas there for discounts, deals, and more ideas on the best vineyards in Virginia. Follow Isabel on Instagram at VA Wine Chic.